Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we our system is from the user King of Sweets in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending their system. And their system is called the Sigma Erdani system. So without further ado, it's already on the workshop for us, we've already got it in here. Let's go and see what we have got. Alright. Okay, ooh. That's a lot of a lot of asteroid belts. Whoa. Where are we? Right, okay. Oh, wow. We, oh, it's a lot of stars. Okay. The, the Sigma Erdani system is a 10-star system located in the Milky Way galaxy, and it sits in at a distance of about 8,100 light years away from the sun. Scientists are unable to explain the existence of this fascinating system. So it's like an entire... Oh, and there's planets in here as well. Okay. So, stars. Sigma Erdani A. The main star of the system is roughly five times more massive than the sun as an extremely active star. So next up, we got the B star. The main sequence star with about 0.3 times the mass of the sun. Then going to C, main sequence star 0.1 times mass of sun. D star, main sequence 0.3 masses of sun. Then we've got E, that's 0.1 masses over here. And we have F, it's very, very interesting. This is uh, a main sequence star of 90 times the mass of Jupiter, smallest star in the system, says your red dwarf, smallest of the red dwarfs. Uh, G, 0.6 suns. This must have formed from like some massive nebula to get all these stars built in here. Um, I, 0.2 masses. H is 0.2. And then J is 0.8. One of the larger ones on the edge there. Okay. So there you go. Now zooming out. Planets. There's the planets. So what was we looking on the side? Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, wow. So the main star, the most luminous of all. Let's look at its stats. Enter, isn't it? Yeah. 152 luminosity of sun. Okay. Cool. All right. Very nice. So, where are we? So, the first of the planets over here. So, D387S. Okay, right. Very, very interestingly constructed system. This is a very unique design. A world of extreme temperature variations. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Look at that. You're in orbit of that. Have a little uh, view here. That's a lot of stars. How many shadows would you have at once? <laughs> if all the light of them reaches you. Oh, wow. So, hazy pink atmosphere and mountainous surface. Okay, right. Cool. Next up, we have got... A beautiful iridescent purple world with extremely mountainous surface. Okay. Let's just scroll that down. Very nice. Next planet out. A Mars-like world of freezing temperatures. It has a moon as well. It has a... It's a world rich in metals such as iron and copper. Okay. And the planet itself. Next up, we've got B90C. The dominant gas giant. I like how everyone picks up on that. That, you know, I usually call my largest gas giant the dominant gas giant. And now, like, everyone in their own system starts to use that sort of terminology of the dominant gas giant. It's a cool name, though. I'm glad you guys are using it. It's, it's cool. Yeah. It's a good way to represent the biggest of the planets. So, there it is. Very nice. It's a nice colour as well. Nice nice mix in there. The dominant gas giant in the system. It is known for its extremely violent storms that can reach up to wind speeds of 1,000 miles per hour. Cool. Okay, lots of moons as well. So it's got five sort of main moons. So the first one is extremely mountainous, which is this one. So there it is there. Extremely mountainous. Then we got C1, which is this one. One is sigma. It is the world rich of all kinds of metals. God, going between these is a bit of a pain. Um, there it is. Uh, next up we've got C2. Over here. World rich in metals such as magnesium and aluminium. Or aluminum, if you're American. So, <laughs> here you go. Cool. Um, C3 over here. It is a world littered with craters. And the last world is rich in metals such as iron and copper as well. There's your cratered world. I really do like that gas giant. It's a nice looking object. And then over here we have this one as well. Cool. 
cool. Right, moving on. Because the other ones are all just asteroid worlds, I'm guessing, aren't they? They must be. Or minor life shop objects. Okay, yeah, I'm guessing they're all just more uncustomized ones, I'm guessing. So we've covered all the highlighted ones. So these are all just random spawned objects, I'm guessing. So we'll move on, yeah. Okay, so next up we've got an ice giant with spectacular rings. And yeah, we're getting a lot of lag in it. It must be all these asteroid belts and uh, stuff combined. So over here. Let's see what the ice giant looks like. Oh, really struggling to navigate in here. This is the loading times. Right, tilted on its side. Very nice looking ice giant as well. An ice giant with spectacular rings. Cool. So it's got a big jump to its first moon. Very, very interesting. Okay. I can navigate a little better here now. That's really weird. Um, well dittered with craters. So next one we have uh, ocean under its surface, which is this one, A1, isn't it? Oh, this is the one with littered with craters. Okay, the first one was metal such as iron and magnesium. So this is the littered with craters. Then we've got A2, which is over here. So this is the one with the ocean under its surface. Believed ocean. Kind of like Europa. Okay, so next up we're taking another jump out. To H119. Okay, yeah. A chaotic ice giant, he puts. Windiest planet in the system with winds reaching up to 13,000 miles per hour. Wow. That's uh, some high speeds there. One is Sigma and these are uh, three major moves. It's world rich with all kinds of metals. Cool. I like how it's highlighted the more important ones to actually for us to view. That's pretty cool. Um, a barren wasteland, the next one. Down here. Then lastly, a world which of all kinds of metals, which is this one here. There you go. Then we've got dwarf planets as well. Oh my gosh, there's so many. <laughs> right. Where do we start? Oh, there we go. So all of these. Oh, they're these. Okay, gotcha. They're all very similar names. It's hard to spot them. So the first one, a world that is with craters. You can see the craters there. And it's also got some moons as well. Small asteroids. It's surrounded by small asteroid moons. Okay. One of small asteroids. So we've got a lot of uh, a lot of the same uh, bits of reading here. So we'll quickly go through all of the uh, dwarf planets here. That's one of the gas giants. What am I doing? Ah, so they're all similar named. It's hard to navigate where it, which one is where. Um... Small moon. So J six six two H one. Where is that? Oh, wrong button. So we need uh, J six six two. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay, so all of those. So next up, we got B nine eight eight. So they're all just all just asteroid moons. It's all the same. It's just copy paste. It's it's the same thing. Okay, that's the verse we've seen of that. Right. Um. So we're now heading to B nine eight eight C. So again, here you go, and this is surrounded by asteroid moons. So there you go, all of them there. You can see its moons in the picture there as well. It says those guys, um, and then that's all. That's all of the moons. Okay, cool. So that is everyone, as far as I believe. Cool, and then the rest is asteroid belts. I'm just going to remove those so we can actually move around this better. Ah, that's better. Yeah, we can actually move. So the main attraction, though, is the stars. If you ask me, that's the real sort of yeah, it's looking good. That's the real sort of uh, selling point of this system. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think down below of this system. And again, a massive thank you to King of Sweets for sending in this system. A pretty unique design for sure. Did like it. Do like those gas giants as well. They're real cool designs. So going down here, here's your lineup. You got your stars. Dominant gas giant, the two ice giants. Nice color combos in them as well. Really, really did enjoy that. And there's all the uh, all of the random generated moons. Look at all that. Oh, wow. So, there we go. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, press that like button. Subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And make sure you leave a like as well. Let's see if we can go for 200 likes on the same studio, guys. With that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.